Hello and welcome to this MD80X candle tutorial. Today we'd like to introduce the new features that come with our latest software update. In this video we'll specifically focus on setting up an MD80 controller with a motor of your choice. Let's now move to today's setup. We'll configure an MD80 controller with a Tuniji Multistar 5010 motor. We'll be using candle device to interface between the PC and the MD80 controller. First, let's check the ID of our actuator using the MD tool ping all command. Okay, we can see it's 100. Now let's see the details of the setup. We can see the errors depicted in red. You should always deal with the setup error first. To clear it, you have to download a config file that matches our motor. Sample config files can be found in the home slash dot config slash md2 slash md2 motors directory. The ak 60 6 configuration file comes with many comments. You can use it as a reference. Let's copy it and rename it to our motor. Now let's open the file and modify the parameters accordingly. The motor name can be whatever you want until it's less than 20 characters. Let's put Turnigi 5010 here. The pole per count can be determined by counting the rotor magnets and dividing this number by 2. In our case it's 7. The KV is used to roughly determine the torque constant value if the manufacturer does not provide it. We'll read it from the motor specs, 274 in our case. The torque constant can be passed explicitly when it's known. If you already provided KV rating, you can put a zero here. However, keep in mind that the torque constant based on the KV rating is not going to be as accurate as when it's measured. The gear ratio param is used to declare the gear ratio between the motor shaft and the output shaft. Place a number less than one in case of a reductor, one in case of a direct drive motor, or number greater than one in case of a multiplicator. Max current is the phase current limit that will limit the performance of the motor for safety reasons. Let's keep it low for the initial setup. You can always change it on the fly using MD tool config current command. In simple terms, torque bandwidth defines how fast is the motor reaction for a given set point torque. The larger the number, the faster it reacts, however the audible noise will be higher. Let's set it to 100 Hz as we can modify it later on. Shutdown temp describes the motor shutdown temperature. This settings works only if you mount the external motor thermistor. The output encoder section will be addressed in another tutorial video. Let's keep these params at zero. The last three sections are dedicated to the default parameters for the motion controllers. We will keep them at default values from the AK60-6 file as the controller tuning is out of the scope of this video. Keep in mind that these parameters are not universal and will probably not work well without adjusting. Please see the manual for controller tuning tips. Let's now save the file and go back to the console. Now that we have the config file ready, we can download it to the MD80 controller using MD tool setup motor command. You can use tab for autocompletion. After about 5 seconds, the controller is rebooted. Now, MD tool setup info command shows us the parameters we've put into our new config file. We can see the setup error is gone, however, we still have to deal with other errors. This should go away after the calibration is successfully completed. Let's run it by typing MD tool setup calibration 100. The motor is now calibrating. Always make sure it is able to rotate freely. After about 40 seconds, the calibration is completed and the drive is rebooted. Let's now check the errors. Ah, 
As we can see, all the error fields are now set to zero, indicating everything's working as expected. Let's now try to actually move the motor using the MD tool test move command. The number 100 is the ID, whereas the number 5 is the position in radians. As you can see, the motion isn't very smooth and there are a lot of vibrations. This is why you should always tune the controller gains for a new motor type. MD tool test move command uses impedance control mode. I will now tweak the gains manually and we will redo the test after that. Okay, I've modified the impedance motion mode gains. Let's rerun the test. Now the motor sounds much better and we get almost non vibrations. Keep in mind that for very smooth operation you should also consider position or velocity modes. This demo was the last part of our custom motor tutorial video. If you'd like to read more about the MD80X Scandal ecosystem, be sure to check out the manual on our website, our GitHub repo, and stay tuned for next tutorial videos.